gonna talk about burp gloss. And the biggest thing um, that I wanted to share with you guys is how many I think you need. So I have three different burp cloths. Um, these I was gifted. I think they're also called receiving blankets. So they're a little bit longer. Um, and then you can use them for a bunch of stuff. Just cover up the baby. At the beginning, I used these um, rolled up uh, to support my wrist, which you can see I had carpal tunnel, but that's another story for another day. So a couple of these are uh, really good to have at hand. Then I have these, which I have um, 16. Actually, I would say we're probably getting ready to do an Amazon order and order another eight probably. I think they come in packs of four. So I would definitely stock up on these because at this point we're basically doing baby laundry, um, mostly because we run out of these, not because we run out of onesies. And then I have what I consider my fancy bibs. Um, slash burp cloths, which are these from Aiden and Anise. Um, I even have Harry Potter ones, which um, as you'll learn, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but uh, these are great and I keep these in our diaper bags. I've got two in each diaper bag. Um, so I just like these because they're a little bit longer and they're great because they will cover your shirt a little bit more. They're also great for if you're nursing, you can cover yourself up a bit um discreetly and they have these snaps so you can snap them on my little baby model here you can snap them on like a bib and he doesn't need a lot of entertainment so he even likes playing with it so it can be a toy this is going to be my standard everyday one all over the house. Here's one that's great for wrist support. Um, these kind of receiving blankets. Um, they're a really nice cotton. And then you've got your fancy ones. They're that same kind of soft material that really absorbs, but it's got super cute prints and it's got different prints on each side. All right, here's our nursery burp cloth situation. We've got one on each armrest, one on the back of the chair. Um, we've got this one over here right by the changing table. Uh, if this one's gone, a lot of times I will also just grab this one. Cause then you can be like, hop how. So that's super handy. Uh, then we have one over by the crib and one over by his, what we call his little PlayStation. So yeah, you just need them everywhere all the time. And then you have to remember when you have a bunch of spit up in it because it smells. Even though I am I am a fan of not having too much stuff, this is definitely one that you just like don't mess around, like stock up. But whip that like button like you would some, uh, some spit up. And uh, if you like what we're talking about, please subscribe. We're trying to keep it pretty practical, keeping it real. I just got done working out, so. And that's it for today, but what's in the wild?